Hi ladies, a few of you have asked for some notes on the little bonus project from Captured in Time. It was just a bonus one made from scraps after the two layouts. But we haven't done actual notes, but we've done a diagram for you for the box because that's the only complicated part of this project. The diagram is on the LinkedIn as ascending and it'll also be on our website shortly. The notes will show you how to cut this to scale. If you'd like to just print straight from your A4, you can and then trace and copy. Uh, the, just wanted to show you the part where it gets a bit tricky. On the larger piece, there is a section that says tape on the notes. And then on the other section, it says tape from section A or from piece A. You need to take the piece off here. It will come off. So that's tape of piece A. And then this it says to put on like so. So it all becomes one piece. From there, it's not complicated at all. Just work at stages. Once you've done the actual cutting yourself, you'll see that it really isn't hard or complicated. It just looks a little bit stressful. Making a flash at the bottom. Flash at the bottom. And again, making them flash at the bottom, fold over. at the bottom so that's the bottom section done top section less work this is now 90 degrees so flash to the top same on this side And there's your box. So now that you know how to make the box, to decorate the box, I put the ribbon on first. You just got to remember that if you're wanting to do the same as mine. So the ribbon goes behind pieces of paper. Again, just use the scraps that you've got. I also put a piece of paper deliberately over that join where the lid joins the back, just to hide any imperfections. And you open the box. Decorate how you want. Just inside the box is also a little detail, just for fun. And again, this is all from the scraps, so you don't need to get anything extra. I even cut up the, some of the sayings of the words because oh no, there wasn't any being me, but I took the B from one word and the ing from another and me from another one, just for fun. So this is the first card, front. There's just little pop-outs. And a backspace for a photo. Second one is with a tab. It's a tab and then it's stuck onto scrap paper. This is like a slide of photo or something in there. And then this was the dark black frame from the fussy cut from the cover. This is just chipboard again from the leftovers. Same applies with this one. I used all the tabs in more or less the same way. This one's just a little pull out with the extra. I love the saying, so I don't want to put anything on the saying. Again, the photo could slide into this little gap. Plain straight on photo. Another tab with chipboard. There we go. This is part of the acetate that was left over. These are part of the fussy cut little corner pieces. I had quite a decent sized piece of this paper left over from the offcuts, so I made it into a, a folder. 
I just covered the back here because unfortunately it was um, the back of a fussy cut sheet so it didn't look very nice there. So I just covered this with another piece of paper. A few little tags, little sayings, this little circles part of the fussy cut sheet that were just stamped out. And then it was even enough for a little booklet. Lots of photos. Again, this was the acetate leftovers. This slides out. We'll all be looking familiar once you've done all your fussy cutting. You'll see where all these pieces came from. There. Again, chipboard, acetate, all used up.